Hello and welcome to another tutorial for ScreenMonkey, the powerful multimedia presentation software developed by Oliver Waits. My name is Raymond Jones and today we are going to be looking at understanding layers and using the layers dashboard in ScreenMonkey. To begin, you need to understand how ScreenMonkey handles layers. Layers are extremely powerful as they can allow you to display up to three clips at any one time. You can use them to show clips on separate monitors, overlay text, or create a picture and picture effect on a single display. When playing a clip, you have up to three layers to choose from. Layer 3 is on top. Layer 2 is under that, and Layer 1 is beneath Layer 2. So, 3 is in the front, and 1 is in the back. Keep that in mind. If you want two or three clips to play simultaneously, then they must be placed in different layers. To see how to add clips and assign them to a particular layer, let's go forward and do a little experimenting. Now, for this tutorial, I've created a special display profile. Don't let that term throw you. A display profile is simply some settings that tell ScreenMonkey where and how to handle the different layers that are going to display in my show. My special display profile separates the layers and displays them on my laptop screen so that I can record them for this tutorial. Your display profiles will likely show on a completely different monitor and they won't block your ScreenMonkey main window at all. This display setting is solely for this recording and to show you how layers work. So, let's add some images to the dashboard and then assign them to particular layers. I'm choosing images, but you could load many kinds of media into ScreenMonkey and then layer those. To add images, you want to click on the first box and then in the Create Clip window, you want to choose image. Choose OK. Now, I want to find the image that I want to use. I'm browsing through. And here are my presentation photos from a trip that I took to Haiti. I find my image choose it and choose open. Now you can just double click in the create clip window on the image that you want and it will load without having to choose open. That will save you a little time. Alright, so there's my first image. It's loaded. Alright, now let's speed things up just a little bit so that you can show how to show, I can show you how to do this with a little shortcut. This time I want you to click on the empty box and instead, over here on the left, choose Open File. Now, I can choose Add Files or Add Folders if everything I want is in one folder. In my case, however, I only want three files, so I'm going to choose Add Files, and it's in the window that I was uh, last browsing, and I want to find another three pictures, so I'm going to choose this picture. now. If you will hold down the control key and select the other pictures, you can pick them out of the group. There's a cute little girl. There are my three pictures. So I choose open. And you'll see that I have little icons here for three photos that I'm going to add. And I choose OK. Monkey will then load those clips into my clip windows. Now, I look over the order, and I like the order that they're in. So we need to assign them now to a particular layer. If you simply right click on the image that you want to assign, a menu will come up. In that menu you will see the word layer. Bring your mouse to it and you'll notice that there are three options. Active layer, layer 1, layer 2, and layer 3. By default a clip is assigned to the active layer. For us, we want to change the first clip to be in layer 1, so simply click on layer 1. Now, notice in the clip window, there is now an indicator number in the upper left-hand corner that is telling you 
to which layer the clip is assigned. Let's move to the second image. Right click, go to layers, and change it to layer 2. There we go. And now move to the third one. Right click, choose layer, and layer 3. Now, the fourth clip we're going to leave unassigned, and it's going to keep its active layer setting. You'll see why in just a minute. All right, now we want to play those clips in the display profile that I've set up. Again, this display profile is simply for this recording and to help you see how the layers separate from one another and how they work. To play a clip, you can clip on, click on the clip in the dashboard. So, here's clip one. Here's my, this picture is in layer 1. When I click on the second box, that image will appear, and it is slightly overlapping the first image. Now, let's click on the third image. The third image is now overlapping the other two. I've displayed them, and now they overlap each other. What if I want to control them? Now that is a whole other matter. If I wanted to clear, for instance, let's say I want to clear this second image. To terminate any image or media file in your presentation, then you want to choose the clear panel. This is the bigger at X. But notice something. The image that I want to clear is in layer 2. Look in the upper corner of the clear panel. There's a number 1. That tells us that the clear panel, panel is working with layer 1. How do I change it so that the active layer is now layer 2? That is where your layer selection buttons 1, 2, and 3 come in handy. So, I would like to clear the image that is on layer 2. So, I select layer 2. Now, I want you to notice something. Did you notice that whenever I clicked changing the layer, that there is a yellow highlighter box that switches? It switches to indicate the layer that is being manipulated at the moment. You need to remember something. I must choose the layer that I want to affect. Here's a helpful hint. When you click on a layer and the layer selection buttons, the media that's currently complaining playing on that layer will be highlighted in yellow. So toggle through the layers to find the media that you want to clear. In this case, it's not on 3, it's on 2. So I want to clear that, so I click Clear, and the image is removed from my presentation. Now, I want to bring it back, and then we're going to reinforce this by playing around with Clip 4. Now, I have my first three images displayed in their layers. Clip 1 in layer 1, another clip in layer 2, and then a clip in layer 3. My fourth clip, if you remember, is assigned by default to active layer. Let's say that I want this clip to play in the second layer and replace this second layer clip. How do I do that? Well, I have to choose the second layer. So, uh, let me double check the highlighter. Yes, this one is layer 2. And so now I want the clip that's the fourth clip to play in that. Since I have the second layer selected, when I click on my active clip fourth image, it will replace the clip that is in the second layer. All right, that's a lot of information, but there's one big point that I want you to remember. This is the thing to take away. To control a layer, you have to select that layer. So, here's a hint. Toggle the layer selection buttons that are on the left until you see the clip that you want highlighted. If it's highlighted in yellow, then you will control that clip.